I'm assuming since you clicked on this video that you want to learn how to export your videos utilizing the H.264 codec in After Effects. I'm here to tell you that in versions 2018 and 2019 of After Effects, that video codec no longer exists. But I do have a faster, easier, more efficient way of exporting your videos utilizing the H.264 codec. Stick around. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you want to learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So once my After Effects video is ready for export, I'm going to go ahead and select it, and then I'm going to click on Composition, Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. And a lot of people seem to have issues with using Adobe Media Encoder. I don't know why. You don't even have to necessarily use the program or understand it at all. All you have to do is follow these steps, and your video is going to come out just as perfect as it would if you were using After Effects. And one of the things behind the scenes is Adobe Media Encoder is included with After Effects or Premiere Pro. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to encode things and that would just be you know, ridiculous. Even though it happens to be a bit behind the scenes, all encodings from Premiere Pro and After Effects are handled by Media Encoder. So when you install Premiere Pro or After Effects, Media Encoder is always going to get installed alongside it. So keep that in mind. But if you don't happen to have it, you can get it from the Adobe Creative Cloud. Just click, scroll down here to Media Encoder and then install it. It should come with your license if you're paying for it. If you're not paying for it and you got it some other way, I'm sure that you can figure out how to get it as well. So then you're just going to go up here to the little drop down and you're going to select H.264. I'll then click on where it says high quality 1920 by 1080 and then it's going to open up this box here and this is a lot similar to if you're familiar with Premiere Pro and I did a in-depth video on how to export your videos in Premiere Pro I'll go ahead and link that up in the YouTube cards now as well as I'll drop that link down in the description so that if you want to check that out you can do that and then hop back over here to this tutorial because these are going to be the exact same presets so I'll make sure that the format is set to H.264 and then my preset is going to be that high quality 1920 by 1080 and then my output name is just going to be whatever I want to name my video. So I'll just name this test and then press save. Wherever I want to save my video to, that's what's going to go there. And then I want to make sure that export video and export audio is selected. So that way both are exported with the video. I'll then scroll down here to my basic video settings. Make sure the width and height is the proper format for what I want my video to export at. I'll then scroll down here to frame rate. Whatever frame rate you want your video to export at is where you, what you're going to put here. And a lot of these are all going to remain the same, progressive, so on and so forth. Make sure that you check render at maximum depth. That's really important. And then all these are going to remain the same. And then bitrate encoding, I'm just going to set this to CBR with the target bit bitrate being 40 megabytes per second. Again, I did a more in-depth video on this. You can check that out if you want to get all the perfect dialed in settings. And then hop back over to this tutorial and continue on. Then. All I want to do is go down here and check use maximum render quality. And then all I'm going to do is press OK. And this is going to export so much faster. Last thing we have to do is go up here and click this green play button. And it's going to export faster than it would even in After Effects. And just so you all can see it, this video took a total of 45 seconds to render. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.